Hey, what's up, guys? I said let me let me come on. Uh, we are probably about a few minutes out from the location, the next location that we're headed to on this investigation today, which is uh, the Ministry of Communities. Okay. Last point of contact in the Ministry of Communities for me was a Mr. Kilkenny, who was in charge of the NDCs throughout the country. Okay. Now, when I was there last and I spoke with him, Mr. Kilkenny, Mr. Kilkenny stated that it was not the duty of the NDC to enforce issues on an access road, a particular access road in land of Canaan. Now that the government has changed, Lands and Survey is telling me they're unsure and they are unsure because of unwritten policies. Ladies and gentlemen, anytime someone tells you something about an unwritten policy, understand that that means it is not legal. In order for something to be legal, it must be written, it must be verified, okay? And it must be brought to public knowledge before it can become a government policy. You cannot create policies simply because you are in position and then use those policies that have not been uh, met out to the public to, to, to basically delay justice or persecution of your friends and family or business partners. This is a gross injustice to the people here in Guyana. And any person in any government office ever claiming that they are operating based on unwritten policies that person has been breaking laws okay that person has been breaking significant laws how many other laws have been broken on the basis of unwritten policies okay based on what was said there from the land administrator and manager of land administration for region four it's down this road yeah i feel so it's down this road based on based on region 4 i can tell you that the person in charge of region 4 has been operating based on unwritten policies that did not come out of my mouth that came out of her mouth and uh many of you would have been witnessing it live right at the same time so at least you would know why maybe you were right it was the other street i'm sorry buddy this is why you don't tell a man who knows his job how to do his job Sorry, I only came here like twice before and I had to deal with the other stuff. So yeah, it's the next street, sorry. Yep, Lego sounds like bribery policies. And this is where the problem is. It's bribery and corruption. A rich man, and this is my opinion, a rich man paid off the NDC. It's working? No, I don't think that light working by you guys. Take a chance. Right, a rich man, in my opinion, Paid off the NDC, paid off lands and survey, paid off persons in housing, paid off persons in EPA. By the way, we have evidence of a lot of this, right? Um, and each of them now is delaying the process to save their ass because all of them are caught, right? So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Yeah, it's that street. So we're gonna see how. My mask is here. I'm just talking right now in the car. As soon as I pop back in, I'm gonna make it right here. So I'm about to pop out of the vehicle, right? Of course, I've got a mask up, right? Uh, because we are headed in to the Ministry of Communities right now. So let me show you where we're at because all of this is going as government record, right? Yep, right here. All of this is going as government record right ministry of communities right uh, okay once again all of you are my bosses good day okay. Come. You just went here? no Oh, we are here. We are going to see the Minister Secretary. Minister Secretary. Thank you. 
Hi, good day. Uh, do you need to see my ID as well? Yes, here you go. Thank you. ID, please, Raj. And here is his ID as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. I could definitely tell you, right now this place isn't as busy as it used to be. Good day, Uncle. Good day. My friend, how are you doing? Democracy has prevailed. I'm here to speak with the Minister Secretary. Minister? Secretary. Yeah, um, oh. oh, we just sprayed, but you yeah, yeah, spray okay. more, more spray. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. I don't blame you. This COVID thing is Mr. dangerous. Snow. Yes, Mr. Sometimes. Snow. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no, no. There's only heat with me. Mr. Snow is here to see you, Mom. Good day. Oh, I like the fact that you guys are getting a facelift in here. Very nice. I guess the transition is happening. How are you doing? Uh, the reason why I'm here is because a matter has, has been going on for some time now. And I just actually left Lands and Survey. Yeah, I just left Lands and Survey, who up to... December of 2019 said that they had jurisdiction mm -hmm. and now speaking with the uh, uh, Miss Chung, which is the manager of land administration for region four mm -hmm. uh, Actually, no, it looks like she's the manager of all land administration apparently mm -hmm. is now stating that this issue is actually an issue that should be addressed by the NDC okay. but when I was here uh, prior and I spoke with the other secretary for the last minister. Mm -hmm. They told me that they were going to put a Mr. Kilkenny. I don't know if Mr. Kilkenny is still working. Yes. Right? And then Mr. Kilkenny has sent me and said that it's their job to do it. Okay. But this person says no. It is this ministry's job to uphold the law. <laughs> so this is an issue that's been going on since 2018. And, um, you know, the running around is kind of, kind of leaves me puzzled. I was just also told by the manager, Ms. Chiang, mm -hmm. that Lands and Survey has also been operating under mm -hmm. some unwritten policies. Mm -hmm. So, I'm curious to know if this ministry is also operating under unwritten policies. And uh, what would be the direct action that needs to be taken in this matter? subsequent to all of the running around that this went on and uh, in terms of the NDC up there mm -hmm. this is permission from the NDC to build our housing scheme mm -hmm. and also got some more documents here for you and then we also have our approval in fact, let me pull out this whole file this file is the right thing to. This is the right file. Too much files in my briefcase. I feel like a lawyer. Just without the pay. Hey, hold on. I'm in the wrong profession, you know. That's what I'm. That's what I'm figuring. This is our approval from Central Housing and Planning to build our housing scheme. However, I cannot proceed because a gentleman has erected an illegal fence mm -hmm. on our access road, which is a government access road. And no one can tell me who has to move this fence. I would love to hop in a back or a bulldozer right now and knock down the fence, mm -hmm. but I don't think that is legal. Mm -hmm. Unless there's an unwritten policy I am not aware of that allows that to be legal, in which case I could Simona brooms it, <laughs> right? All right? 
um, ministers it in today, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take copies of all the documents that you've given me here. Yes, please. And I'd appreciate it if you can have a cover letter attached to these documents seeking ministers intervention. Okay. All right. Uh, I would have already sent all of that in before, so to the last minister. Mm -hmm. So I already have copies of all that stuff. I'm just going to update it in my files and resend it to you guys. You would have to readdress it as well. Yeah, exactly. Please, yeah, because it's a different minister now. Yes. This minister might be functional. So you just re readdress that and put it as a cover letter here. Not a problem. I got I got you covered. And resubmit to me. So and and you I know, will. You're seeking his intervention. Exactly. Yeah, just let me get the emails, the right names, who it has to go to. And then I can proceed. And you said Mr. Kilkenny is still working. Yes. I would like to be able to meet with him. I'm not sure which department he is right now, but I do know that he's around. Because I know last I checked, he was in charge of the NDCs, right? Mm -hmm. Or something like that. I'm sorry about this. Um, it's okay. I understand that you have your processes. Once I know it's the legal process, I do in the legal process. Mm -hmm. Because I've been doing the legal process for two years now and getting pushed around. Okay. So I'm just hoping that, you know, fair play and justice can present itself. Mm -hmm. There's an email and you address it to Minister Darn Loud. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Minister uh, Nigel D. The, so, so that's two M's? M I. Oh, I, 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 oh okay, okay. I was like, whew. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm writing looks like mine when I'm busy. Nigel D. <laughs> at mlrd.gov.gy, right? And your name? It's Queenie. Queenie? Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And um, I do appreciate you can also put all your contact information. E every single thing will be there. Like like I said, I, I've done this so much, I basically have a template to complain now. <laughs> right? All right. And when this comes in, uh, you'll be able to help set up a meeting with the minister? Well, yeah. If you I, I, I would still like to speak with the minister. Right, so just state that in that letter as well, that you're requesting his intervention and to have a meeting. Because it would to suck discuss. to think that I fought for democracy and the minister doesn't make time for me, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I feel can... like a woman that never gets no love. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, All right. so uh, I'm going to go and see if I can reach Kill Kenny. Sure. Thanks. Oh, hold on, we got to go this way. Let's see, Mr. Kill Kenny is around this person NDC unit NDC come in hey oh gosh oh you know why I'm here uh Raj come in please how you doing my brother yeah I'm actually here about the same issue yeah, yeah, yeah. Go over there, Raj. They don't like you. No, no, I know. They, yeah, yeah, definitely. No, no, definitely. I'm just, I'm just playing with you. We make funny jokes, man. Not as funny as the joke I heard from Lands and Survey just now that they're operating under unwritten policies. So that was a very funny joke. Um, however, it's a joke that needs to be addressed. And uh, last time that I was here. And I was speaking with Mr. Kilkenny, and I believe you as well. Uh -huh. I was stated that Lands and Survey was in charge of that particular area for the uh -huh. access road. Uh -huh. The manager of Lands and Survey has just indicated to me and my board of directors and everyone else uh -huh. that Ministry of Communities and the NDC is responsible for the enforcement of the blockage of the access road. So I'm here at the ministry. Yeah, I'm a because as you know, it's 105 to 9 families waiting to get to their properties. That's a lot of people, man. Uh, what do you know? Why I would have found um, thing there? Because remember with these letters, right? Uh huh. Necessary follow up we have, but you see Lanza Survey? Lanza Survey still has not followed up. The manager there 
has blatantly said that this is the responsibility of the NDC to enforce the removal of the fence on the access way. Mr. Dwarf Knott, chairman of the NDC, tells me he has no resources or capacity to remove the man. The ministry has to do their part, or Lands and Survey has to do their part. All he can do is complain. Uh, a little that he know, but what what is saying because of these documents was written, right? It comes with the um, verification and so. But uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, okay, okay, listen to you, sir. Are we gonna see to get that no? On the phone, no? Yeah, if you if you need Nat's number, I've got Nat's number here. Let me get oh, it for you. It. Okay, you got his number? Because I got his number here. Well, you called him on his cell recently? Uh, I called him on his cell up to a couple days ago. Because he did, he did tell me that he personally served a letter on the other guy who was squatting on the other access road. Uh -huh. And I found it funny that he could serve a letter on the guy on one access road, but the other guy who owns the zoo... On the other access road, this man cannot serve a letter or notice to him. He picking and choosing. Yeah. So I'm just looking to find out so from who I call in the police on today. Not? Yep. So in oh, charge from the last discussion, there's so much matters we dealt with. I, I understand. Hello? Are you here now? This matter here where we got here with the popular Mr. Snow. Mr. Snow. You know Mr. Snow, right? He might know me as Coraya. Yeah. Right, um, with this blockage of with the reserve, in fact, with lands and survey, remember uh, what lands and survey they say now is everything is with the NDC to uh, remove this 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 part because apparently the back there he got a hundred and fifty something plus lots of people waiting to get their access way and the title and all these things, right? So, with with council, because they had to refer this matter with again with council. In terms to doing the necessary removal and all these things, you ever saw of any notice? What do we need to be a little bit more calm, Chairman? I know you can use get your backup attorneys, right? With the notice you serve, all right? Do your own, as I said, come nobody. I don't want at the end of the day said thing there to just on the ground to see we need to bring closure to the matter. Yeah, yeah, friend, uh, right? Yeah, man. A lot of people wait, my buddy. Yeah, good. Yeah. You see, Mr. Snow is doing a big development, and we can't afford to have, um, you know, it's being blocked by some resort. Huh? Yeah. No, but what you need to do, well, let me let me play it in the legal way. Kind of this country as soon as it slip up, is some other thing. And get your attorneys, them. Huh? Pardon me? No, I'm trying to tell you. Please, let me see with your attorney, see what necessary enforcement what needs to be done. We'll get your um the councils them involved and let me get a, a, a way out on how we can just deal with this matter. Uh -huh. But anyhow, I'll be sending right by you. Um, tomorrow let me look at it, see the perspective, all whatever. And I'll say in the meantime you talk to your attorney because say what happened now and let's tell you action now, um, you know what I mean? There's a different way, you know. Things are being because this matter left pending and it's not, you know. Yeah, nothing's happened on it. This is two years, right? Two years of people not being able to get to their place. Okay. No, that's why I said I'm wrong. When you, when you got a case where you have people are denied with the access and these things. We had London so we were playing their own um, <laughs> Let, there was a letter writer, but they 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 said everything now with the NDC. Everybody's trying to think about with the NDC. But I just want on the record you verified, right? You verified and wrong. See with the thing, and then we move away forward. You have to go with a way forward with this matter. No, uh -huh. no, but what I'm trying to say with the council, 
verified up is a council reserve or is it a synthetic deal? Verify that. Because what he's saying, the gentleman is here and he's saying that Lanson Survey is in the council. Look. Yeah. Well, I can just one thing with it. Because so we speak with, we take notes of it. But the idea, at the end of the day, it is an issue. Whether it did with answers or we did here or whatever, and it's a matter that needs a track down immediately. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see the guy that need what they think there, whatever. That's what we need to do. Call, we need to just interrupt now. Remember, I well, things will, will, you know. We got different folks, different strokes. But we need to look at it and, and, and deal with it, even as a collect collaborative effort, even with Lancers, or even the NDC, whatever, and get this matter done. All right? Mm -hmm. All right? I know from the inception about this thing there, but please, let me get this matter. If you're going to ask Doyle to come up by you um, tomorrow and also to do the necessary run around, because at the end of the day, we want um, to, it has been two for so long, right? All right, thanks for your time. Look up for it though with you, you know, you got your legal people and see if they, they will able to also advise the, the way that we could do this thing properly. Guys of fixed structure and what you got to take some, some, some action, but the idea is that we, we're taking steps on the matter. Lands are down and, you know what I mean? Lands are surveying and DC is still our government. All right. Thank you. Look, okay, here we gonna do, Mr. Snow. Uh, can you must take Mr. Snow now? Yeah, my buddy, because the amount right. of time this thing, people think I may be trying to fraud them. Uh, people talking all sorts and now this destroying my business. What? What we gonna do? All right. Because it's human the same to the latter end that Lanzan Survey would have sent him some documents. In truth of it, when we talk, the last thing Lanzan was saying is that it's the issue. Uh, I, I remember. Nobody to go there, right? I, I remember. They you have that. Nobody council, but legally, everybody. But I know I was here with you guys when yeah, Lanzan yeah. Survey said that they were handling that, handling matter, but and then they never follow through. Now they're saying it's not them. They're saying it, it comes what back what here. What do in the interim? Do since the call you find out the if the whoever name the if they could have give you. Well, I already told them they have to. They ha they have they have till Tuesday to give me something to write. Give you a letter. They, they have when they give you a letter, they write it. This is steps we take. If they give you the thing by Tuesday, in the interim, we can still ask our officer, let me set to, when it's a check it, on ground, and ask it, let me do some backup now, legal steps. Because if it's a structure, what to do, we got to go to court to get this, whatever. The idea is to do a demolition to get access. Those yep, the, the, demolition, the demolition has to happen the because there's a fence, there's a concrete fence there. Right. It's a demolition and the event of that, you got to pursue it in the thing of the... Um, however the law has it, notice. however the law has it, yeah. that's how we have yeah, to yeah, move it. Yeah. Um, what's the difference between the state-owned state land and the end access road as which he has? No, what does it happen, right? All lands, well, neighbor democratic councils have lands, they have resources and so But that same lands are surveyed too. What they did, they would have issued a document of lead, even when you come for the saying all undivided lands and reserve fall under them, they would have done another surplus scene in contravening a lot of things. Mm -hmm. All right? But it well, 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 the manager explained to me that there are a lot of unwritten policies. <laughs> and, and, and this is where I have a big yeah. headache. Because you can't have a legal policy if it's not written. He keeps saying it's not state. It's not state owned. But that is why they're not If it's not state owned, matter, that's the other transport. This is how we're going to approach it. Yeah, but th that's what I'm saying. That's why I asked the question uh -huh. to explain to me how, what's the difference between state owned. Uh, but listen, it's, ve it, listen, it's very state, simple. State There's a legal land, book. Land, that, the that Constitution land, speaks land. about state and non state law. 2801 telling you about those things as well. 2802. Mm -hmm. Is it a private owned uh, uh -huh. Is it a right, private so. owned, government owned, or state owned? Because government is my lie I'm headed to just now. And I've waited, I've allowed the election, the whole COVID, everything, private I give everything time. But I still I still got the law. 
this is all the real part. I was following, as I was following the program. Yeah. But then, Thank you very much. Yeah, back to the road, because at least I put in everything up. Yeah, I, I, I keep I keep video uh, records of everything. This way, nobody ever response. feels that I'm not doing my part. Yeah, you understand. They're going to ensure no bad people are built upon it. Yeah, That's why I have the question, what is right? the difference? Because the difference he's trying to say that mm. like a different okay. operators only say Yeah, no, I, I know. I know there's a lot of things happening. So that's why I'm not wasting too much time. So now, I come I here to make sure. Enough to know that once so these are the steps we take. If you got a letter to look at after. Right. So why did she well, keep saying that? The NDC can't the NDC the NDC the NDC no, the NDC the NDC that's what I'm saying. You know, exactly. She keeps saying what? that only NDC, the NDC can still go after. Because that is... 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 I'll tell you this though. Because that is... 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 I'm going to follow up with them as well. Tell them in a follow up with this matter. That is why they have to look after them. Yeah, because that's what I have to do. I have to corner everybody so they can't get no loophole excuse right now. I for once the government to see when it's a seed, when it's a good initiative, I think it's only that. I know. Somebody got flex with the fence or whatever they got it. Some things got Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this is and this is verified fact. Yeah. That zoo could not have been legally passed without that man claiming that access road. And someone in housing passed that man's zoo mm -hmm. for voting any decision dealing with that access road and treating a government road as if it was, it was his private property. You want to have to marry you, look at you. Right? Mariella would have been the one who passed it, right? Passed it for the zoo? For, for the zoo, right? And Mariella should not have done that because that is a government access road and nobody can't use a government road as their own private buffering zone for their business. That is illegal. Well, yeah, now everything is subject to a bit and gas in No, no, I, I, I know. And in adjustment and whatever but the ID is that all these things, as you said, I, but like I said, I've got everything documented. All, all of the files you have, all of the files the government have, I have that plus a little bit more. Okay, right? What are you going to advise for this? You choose it with them. If they give you something in writing, I will not write the council back. Write us write the council back. Just tell them here. The brief letter. All I did here, and these are the steps we're taking. So, are we going to do some additional thing? Follow up, as I told you, with that. And Let's get away for it. I foresee that the council and got a if and this way of thinking legally of once it's become potential is the legal minds can tell you go to the magistrate court, go to the court to get a demolition exercise or whatever given in nature, so maybe everybody's been protected. Right. Right? To go that direction and get whatever. Ideally is for the man would have come in and said, well, now we are, affect some people we around, yeah, the man is very unreasonable because realistically, <laughs> I'm not objecting to the zoo. I've never objected to the zoo. No, but, that's why I'm but the zoo somehow has a problem with people going on property they own. And yeah. behind everybody back, the man sending people for buying my land from me. So he pressured me from one area and trying to get me to sell out cheap in another area. Yeah. So what? So he could do your own thing? It's my land. Yeah. Can you take Mrs. Snow number now? Back. I had it on a previous phone. Yeah. You have the same number though? Yeah, same number here. Okay. 622 1957. If you could just send me a message and I'll be able to follow up with you right there. Yeah, no problem. Right, Mrs. Snow? So thanks for coming. All right, thank you very much. The market will have a different. 622 1957. I got you right here. Yeah. All right, so, so I'm I'm gonna whenever when you cross it, even if you get a letter from Nancy, you screenshot it and send it to you. Uh, yeah, I can send it to as soon as I pick it up, I can send it straight over so you guys can do your part. Yeah, no problem, Mr. Oh, I'm going to ask that you guys do a forensic audit into Mr. Dwarknot's financials. The general or the chairman's legally we can. 
legally we can do it. So who AG do is doing it. The AG general, general, general can do it uh, or the chairman can do it. The attorney general? Yeah. The audit general. The audit general? The audit the general. Audit the general. Yeah. Uh, that's who I'm headed to next. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. So we're going to the auditor general now. Just how this man making money. Office of the Auditor General. Okay, Auditor General. Right down um, over here? Yeah. Please come. Thank you. There's a reason I do lives. Collecting files too long. Right down there? Yeah, I think another one behind work. But under there I can find out. Good, thank you. If people think anyone that tried to fraud me, if you think I'm letting any of them get away, it'd be wrong. But well, this can't be... Hi, can anyone tell me where the Auditor General's office is? That's I? Yeah. Okay. Like, no one even... Like, I, I, I'm curious because, like, no one really knows where the hell. Listen, I'm going to do what I, I do best. I'm going to just walk in a building and see if I get put out. Surely they must be able to tell me something. Oh, hi. Good day. Good day. The Auditor General? Auditor General? Yeah. No. Um, no, B. Don't say it. Right down. Okay, thank you. This is the stuff that has to be done just to get justice. Just to get justice. There's a lot of doors. I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that he said the first one. So well, then this might be the first, bye. Let's see. See what happens. Hopefully a monster doesn't jump out of one of the doors. Oh, hi, Auditor General's office. Yeah, sit Right here? Right here. Uh, may I speak with the Auditor General? <laughs> we have a supervisor. Supervisor, yes. Yeah. Good hey. day, sir. How are you doing? Good. Uh, my name is Anthony Snow. It's a pleasure to meet you today. Sure. Okay, um, I would like to bring to your notice the affairs of a Mr. Dwarka Knott, who is the chairman of the NDC in the Craig Caledonia area. There's been a serious issue going on for some time now. And in our investigations of this gentleman, in my opinion, mm -hmm. he's living beyond the financial means of his salary. Now, I don't know how this is possible, but I'm going to request that an audit is done into his legal affairs in terms of his financials, because I don't know how a man is driving around a $16 million vehicle on a certain salary, which is very, very low unless something funny is actually happening, sir. So I was told that you are the person, or at least this office is the office that has yeah, to audit. We, we conduct in the ministry's audit, right? But what, what the, um, usually happens, the person, if you have a, some sort of report like this to make you, we usually visit the head office, which is right in Kingston. Which exact the, location? Right across it's the right road, down 63 here. High Street, Kingston. Street. And then from there, they'll send it to you? All right, so who do I have to speak to over there? I'll speak with the auditor general. Auditor, so, 6 yeah, sure. to 3 High Street. Correct, right across the road. Thank oh, you. Like the opposite to yourself. All right, great, perfect. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. So now I have to go leave the compound. Got to go somewhere else. Don't worry, we can get this, we can get this started out. I'm a young man, I got time. It's one thing they ain't beating me with. I ain't got all the money, but I got time on my hand. 
Time is my friend. People fail to understand that. Thank you. So I've got it. Yeah, my brother. You too. But no, no. Don't move yet. I have to go over here. My brother, stay safe. God bless. Yeah, coming back. It said right across from Digicel, 6 to 3, High Street. There you go. If they think I haven't been watching them and their spending habits, they are dead wrong. You can't make $200,000 a month, but you're spending $500,000. And you're still living comfortable. Where are the rest of the money coming from? This is the headache. You see, they could have left me in my corner, you know. I warned them, leave me in my goddamn corner. Could have left me there. Nope. They didn't want to do that shit. Watch, this is a GCOM building. You know how many buildings GCOM got that taxpayers pay for? All over the country. Yet people can't get ID card. Got building they renting all over the country. Millions and millions of taxpayer dollars going to friends and family. And the people, we ain't even got a proper school system in place. Set across from Digicel. So this is Digicel here. All right, six. But I got, they doing their part, that's easy. So I'll fill you in on everything quickly. But right now, all of this is GCOM. GCOM, GCOM, GCOM. You telling me that they wouldn't have a goddamn sign up? Hold on, let me see. Some offshore shit. Like, seriously? You you ain't got not a building number, scun. Not a building number, they up. Huh? Yeah, not a building number ain't they up. Not the sign ain't they up. You would think if it was an important place, they would want people to know. Hi, good day. I'm looking for 63 High Street, the Auditor General office. It's around the car now. Nobody seems to know. This is crazy. But I ain't come all this way to not get you. The Auditor General's office. They said across from Digicel, but Digicel there right there. Six, 63 High Street. Whichever building is 63. What street is this? This is uh, Can I go out there? Go out, and go out. Or back, so. go no. out there? Why? Why the man tell? No, no, why didn't people tell me across the street? Go out. Go, out. Go, go out and go back. Around. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. One said 63 High Street is across the street, and the other one said it there across in Digi Cell. Now they telling me. Now they telling me. I got to go in. Margaret, thank you very much. It's near the Canadian Embassy. Thank you very much. Because as you see, they try and put we a little run around. But they don't expect me to go to the Auditor General. I'm putting in my report against the Chairman. Because the Chairman Depp on Scott, he could have did this long ago. How you could serve one man but not serve the next. You served the poor man but you didn't serve the rich man. That shit speaks novels, right? Well, everybody see. When people think I running mad or I talking shit or I just bitching because I ain't got nothing else to do, right? I want everybody to know what is going on. Let them see it with their own eyes. We had a 63 high street, right?
I hope you know where we go in. We know high street we go. Good. We know high street we go in there. Mexican Canadian Embassy? Well, well, I'm hoping. Supposed to be. Somebody I know just said it was around there. So once we get on high street, put on my seatbelt. Why everybody see? That's a long way. Don't turn there. Right? Yeah, but that's the whole thing. The poor man get served. The rich man who break in the law did not get served by the same chairman that was anxious to serve the poor man because the poor man can't pay his squad. We can deal with this. That is why I know the chairman must be reported today. The chairman drives a $16 million vehicle on a thousand US dollar a month salary if he gets it now. Where the rest of the money come? I hope he I hope he come from a rich fucking family. I hope he come from a rich family and he can show how this coming. Because everything about his welfare and lifestyle is about to be audited. I've already done my audits. Of course, I'm not gonna submit my audits to them yet. I can wait to see who lying inside the auditing office too. Who is it 160? No, just 63, 63. Auditor General's office. Ah, there we go. Audit office of Guyana, 63. Alright. You're gonna take a parking? Hang on. Yeah. So we found a building. Barrel, Iman. Yes, sir. Hi, good day. I'm here to speak with the Auditor General. Do you need a Do you need a ID? No. You have to call first before. Uh, anyone need tap number? Mr. Snow? Mr. Snow. Snow? Snow? Yes. Mr. Snow. Yeah. Okay. Yes, hello. Hello, good day. Yes, how are you doing? Are you his secretary? Yes, I would like to lodge a complaint against a Dworkin Knot, who is the chairman of the NDC in uh, Craig, Caledonia. And I would also like to have you guys open up at least an investigation to find out what's going on with this man's finances. For instance, if the man making a $200,000 a month, the man driving a $60 million vehicle. And at the same time, we have issues that may be leading to corrupted issues in the same community where he's managing. Craig Caledonia, NDC, correct. The gentleman's name is Dwarkanat. He's been the chairman there for approximately about 10 years. It's a complaint on his performance, it's a complaint on a lot of things, and there's suspicion of corruption. Would you like to take my number and when the AG is available, you can also contact me directly. That is 622-1957. Anthony Snow. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, it's me guys. Okay, so they're on lunch. So lunch stops. Law, well, lunch stops the law, apparently. But, uh, AG's in a meeting. Other people are at lunch. I'm feeling that his meeting is lunch. That could be, that could be the case. His meeting could be lunch. Huh? Right? Now it's off to my attorney. Right? Uh, here at the Camp of Charlotte. 
right? Yeah, so now we are actually headed over to the attorney because the information that I needed to hear is simple. They still trying to figure it out, basically. But once I know that lands and survey gives me the letter stating that it is back in the NDC's hand, then the Ministry of Communities can take the action to a different level. I want them to know I'm coming. I want them to know I'm coming. Because they can't stop what's coming behind me. It's called the law. And they're going to have a real hard time stopping that. Nothing, Guyana, when somebody go to lunch, story dead, country stop. Now they know though. During lunchtime is when the criminals do all their banditry. That's why the bandits in Guyana know they're going to rob you at breakfast, they're going to rob you at lunch, and they're going to rob you at dinner. Because they know those three times a day, no police ain't walking. Everybody eating lunch. There's no backup person to handle their business. Yeah, I ain't understand. You ain't see what they going on with GCAM. They couldn't even replace low and field. Everything had to wait. They couldn't do nothing. And I know why. And it was explained to me why all of this happened. Because of unwritten policies. Because of unwritten policies, all of this nonsense happens in this country. You see, ladies and gentlemen, there's a reason why I tell you that maybe I should be somewhere in this government in a position, a position to uphold transparency. Right? Because unless you are one of the citizens that have been affected by all of this backwards bullshit, you're not going to take it seriously. But no, everybody ducking, everybody diving, everybody making excuse, got to figure out what they're going to say when Papa Snow come in the building, what excuse they're going to give him today, how are we going to, how are we going to put this man on a run around again, this man? This man be carning off all the excuses we give him. We give him 10 excuses, he visit all with respect. Waste my time, my energy, my money, running around for their lawlessness. No, I tell y'all, one thing I don't like get tea for me is my time. Because there's one thing they can't replace. But let me tell you what, they're going to pay for it. They will pay for it. Okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the safety and security of my legal team, I'll be coming off air here I'm following the necessary procedures and advice from my attorney. Okay. I can't show anyone directly who our attorneys are. Uh, for sake that someone attempts to do anything to our attorneys or to push them, let them see our attorneys in court. Right? They're going to pay for what they've done. Not loosen them. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, they expected me to be a very young and irrational young man. That is what they expected. They figured that if I, they would have frustrated me, I would have went and behaved irrational. Or I would have did something. And you know why? Because they have read false rumors about me. And they believe those false rumors. Right? But here's the problem with rumors. It's just here, see? They're going to boot up with something they don't understand. And every worker in a majority of these buildings who have transpired to help rob me or defraud me out of my inheritance. I smiled with plenty of them. I got evidence of plenty of people. And if you feel you can rob me in one area and I ain't going to catch you in the next, you're dead wrong. Because even if I know you the thief and a sweetie before, I got it for you. I asking everybody nicely. Let this man, let this rich man who tried to rob these people, let he on the own. Because you're going to go down with he. You're going to go down with he. So for everybody who's watching this, that is a part and parcel of this shit, run. Run, scunt right away. Save yourself. 
I'm telling you right now, you got that opportunity, save yourself. Save yourself, I'm telling y'all, save it. Because you ain't getting away. You ain't getting away from this one. Sorry, too many eyes on this shit right now. That's why I'm doing all these lives. So everybody can see what does happen. Right? Because this is what the average man in Guyana goes through every single day when dealing with government and government institutions and agencies. The push around, the roll around. The Imagine you don't own your own thing. You got permissions for your own thing and somebody else could come and slow it down. And then the government dilly dally or delay or take its time to, to what to meet out justice. But small man on the road might teeth something for forget the living because no opportunity ain't there. And you lock you up. You throw away the key on he. Right? And the small man fail to realize that it is the same system that keeps advantaging him. Hey, poor people. Join me and let me represent you. Black people, Indian people, Chinese people, all of we as people in Guyana, we are always getting pushed around. Put a little faith behind me and help me get there so I can clean this shit up. Because the reality is, once there's no transparency, it will keep happening. It doesn't matter which government goes in play. You need to let them know that everybody is always watching and they will not get away with any nonsense if they're doing it scunt. And I think that it is Diana. Because anybody that can hide behind a door and make a deal, I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. Too many innocent people in this country getting screwed up, right? Too many of us punishing. Imagine people own their own thing and get them bullied by other rich man because he got money for pay bribe. Well, the rich man who paying the bribe got to go to jail and the people who collecting the bribe got to go to jail. And at the same time, everyone that we find collecting a bribe or responsible for anything within these matters, every single thing that they have done for the last 10 years or while they were in office should be re-audited. Every deal that they've made. If there's a... Who's going to have the time to do it? Ladies and gentlemen, put me on a government payroll and let me do it. Because our country needs justice. This will decrease the amount of headache in court. This will decrease the congestion in our system, ladies and gentlemen. Our country needs to get moving. And we need to lunch scunt for see justice. Who would skip dinner for see justice. Who would lose sleep until the honest him that is what we need ladies and gentlemen we need somebody to sacrifice to this country I'm willing to sacrifice it I have nothing else so at least for you Guyana I can fight for you but I can't fight for you if you don't give me the opportunity to do so so you would have to know So you'd have to know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is about to happen here, I can no longer put anything else on camera until the next ministry that we're going to visit while we are in town, and that will be the Ministry of Education, because education is important. I love right here. Because education is important, and it is very, very relevant to the development of our country. So I'm happy to have you with me on this journey today. And it's and it's not gonna done today. I don't expect it to done today. Because we still have to wait till next week for that lady to write a, a one paragraph letter that apparently gonna take you a whole week to write. Which is crazy. How can you have someone in an office who lacks the capacity to write a one paragraph letter or takes a week to do it? I don't appreciate that. So that means, you know, we got to fight for it, right? 
Anybody else having issues similar to this, contact me. I think there's things that we might be able to do for you. At least if I can't help you, I can point you in the right direction. Because I'm tired of seeing all of us get pushed around. We need to be our brother's keeper. Thank you very much. You'll see me back on the live shortly. As soon as I'm headed over to the ministry. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.